everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time again. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on. We've got all the tools for you right here. Before we get into some NBA action for February the 6th, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP club section, which has all the tools here to help you make your picks. Okay, so we're going to get into some NBA actions. Four games scheduled. Well, there's more than four games scheduled, but we're going to take a look at four of the games scheduled for February the 6th. So let's get started here. Um, first game we want to look at, Los Angeles Clippers and the Brooklyn Nets. The Nets come in fourth in the Eastern Conference, and the Clippers are fifth in the Western Conference. Both teams are coming off of a loss. You can see that the Clippers are um, average stats, and they are 4-2 and two over their last six, while the Nets are average down, and they are 3-3 three and three over their last six contests. The score predictor has Brooklyn by 119 to 111 score with about 61% level of confidence in the prediction. If you look at the previous meeting this season, it was Brooklyn on the road by 15 points as an underdog. It's an impressive win for them back on November the 12th. The power ranks indicator shows that the Nets are on an upward climb from plus 21 back on January 28th, and they are now at plus 27. While the Clippers are, after being uh, 24 on January the 28th, dipped. And now they're coming back up a bit. They're back up to plus 20. The stability factor, how consistent are the two teams? Well, you can see here that the Clippers are more consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status than the Nets at plus 23, while the Nets are at plus 10. So the way I'm looking at this game, I think in the end, this is a Clippers game. I don't think that Brooklyn is going to be able to sweep the series. I like the Clippers to come away with this one in a game going over the line. The next game we want to look at is Dallas and Utah. In this Western Conference battle, uh, Dallas is in the middle of the Western Conference playoff picture, while Utah is seventh. Both teams are burning hot. You can see that the Mavericks have won three out of their last four, while Utah has also won three out of their last four games. On the power ranks indicator, you can see both have, have been in very similar trends up and down at the same time. Um, you can see here that Utah... Uh, down here, they were plus 7 back on the 28th of January, and they have climbed to plus 13. While Utah, excuse me, while Dallas uh, was at plus 16 back on the 30th, and they are now at plus 22. Uh, the score predictor has a, this is a tight one, 113 to 110 in favor of Utah with about 69.8% level of confidence in prediction. Take a look at the over-under, though. Look at Dallas. They have been involving games under the line in their last four and five out of the last six. Well, Utah has been involved in games over the line in two of the last three, but three in, in out of the last six. Um, in the head-to-head -head matchups, you can see that back on January 28th, this was a Utah win at home as a favorite by eight points, but in a relatively low-scoring game. And again, back on November the 2nd, that was a low-scoring game as well. Just 203 points put up on the board in a Dallas home win in that one. So in the end, the way I like this one, I think that Dallas is going to be able to win this one. I think this is going to be a close game, Dallas, by a few points, but I would pass on the over-under bet. This will be a really good game coming up here, Milwaukee and uh, Portland. Milwaukee comes in on the heels of Boston in the Eastern Conference, just two games out. They're burning hot winners of their last six games, while Portland is on the right track now as well, burning hot four wins out of their last five games. If you look at the over-under, you can see that Milwaukee's been involved in games under the line in their last two and three out of the last six. And very similar with Portland, under in three out of the last six games. The score predictor has this one pretty much all Portland, 124-108 with 71% level of confidence in the prediction. And in fact, this uh, has become an increased uh, increased prediction of a win for Portland. It was 124-112 to the last I looked at this. And it was 67%, so this percentage is, is rising. Um, the power ranks indicator shows Milwaukee near the top of the league at plus 28, while Portland uh, is back up to plus 10, and they were as high as plus 14. They dipped significantly over a couple of days' stretch, and they are back up. Um, let's see, the stability factor, the two teams consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. You can see it's pretty much an upward trend. From Milwaukee, at least right now, they are up to plus 19, very consistent. While Portland has been not as consistent, but still fairly consistent, fairly stable at plus 8. So in the end, though, I like this one to be a Portland win. 
Uh, Portland at home. It's going to be a close game, but I like Portland at home, but I would pass on the over-under bet. Now, last game we want to look at is Oklahoma City and Golden State. Oklahoma City comes in, losers of the last two and four out of their last six, they are ice cold down. Well, the Warriors have also dropped their last two, and they are three and three over their last six, and they are average down. The score prediction has Golden State in a very tight one, 116 to 114, with about the confidence in the toss of a coin at 50.5%. The power ranks indicator shows Golden State came up to plus 20. That was their high point of the season. Um, that was back on... January the 30th, and they have dipped a little bit. Now they're at plus 15. While Oklahoma City has been up and down, they are at plus 8. Look at the over-under. The Thunder have been involved in games under the line in four out of their last six. While the Warriors have been involved in games over the line in um, four out of the last six. The stability factor... You can see here that Oklahoma City, not very stable, not very consistent. They were at plus five back on December 14th, but here we are almost two months later, and they are now down to plus two. Well, the Warriors had not been as consistent lately either. They were at plus 11, and they dipped in their consistency factor here to plus seven. Now, now they're at plus 10. Um, so in the end here, though, I do like this to be a similar outcome as it was the first time around. In the first meeting, you can see that it was... Golden State by eight in a high-scoring game. I like this to be very similar, and I think that Golden State will take this one in a game going over the line. Okay, so there you have it. Those are the games for the NBA for February the 6th. Happy betting, and we will see you again next time.